So here we have one of the three uh, houses built with bottles. It's pretty cool. The guy was pretty pretty ambitious. Apparently he used about 25,000 bottles in the construction of these uh, three different uh, buildings. Here we have a piece of uh, homemade art uh, at the uh, at the bottle house um, stop. I've got a tough one here. <laughs> so, so here we are this afternoon at one of our traditional haunts uh, on PEI, which is the uh, Malpec uh, Oyster Bar. It's us, yeah. And he makes it look so easy, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I've done a few here and there. <laughs> Good on you. Well, we're looking forward to that trade. Oh, yeah. Okay, here they are. So it's time to eat. That's it for now, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Well, there you go. There's the damages. Empty shells and... Um, half full tummies because we think we need to have some more. So here we are on uh, Cape Tryon uh, at the one of the uh, two lighthouses out here. If you uh, can see this, uh, hopefully you can. Uh, this thing has uh, basically been sand slash snow slash hail slash salt blasted completely free, almost completely free of salt, of uh, paint. But it's uh, it's a you know, pretty cool uh, lighthouse that's all automated these days, and we're right out here on the uh, north shore of Prince Edward Island, with uh, some sea cliffs off in the distance there, and then over here on the left is the uh, Gulf of St. Lawrence, with some of the the fishing boys out there making a living, or trying to make a living. So uh, it's, we've been taking a day looking for uh, photo shots and lighthouses and it's been a beautiful day. I mean, uh, this will be the end of it, uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll talk later.